My religion is anti your religion unless we believe in the same thing. My religion is anti your religion unless we believe the same thing. And my religion is not anti you. I ain't got no problem with you. But if I'm a Christian and you're a Muslim, we were at odds with each other. If I'm a Christian and you're a Buddhist, we're at odds with each other. If I'm a Buddhist, it, it, you name the religion and what I believe in is that at odds with yours because from my studies of world religions is each religion thinks they are the superior religion. And these religions would not have a following. It wouldn't work if the religions themselves did not take on like this idea that they're right. You know what I mean? Like no religion goes, ah, you know, it's a pretty cool set of beliefs, but I'm not sure that we're actually the right religion, but you can get on board if you want. No. We're right, y'all are wrong. So that, that brings me to Kyrie Irving, because Kyrie Irving, he, he he's under fire right now for a tweet, another tweet, uh posting the Negro or Hebrews to Negroes uh documentary on his timeline. And I want to pull up his press conference and then really get into this whole thing. So it's going to be about five, six minutes, and, and we're going to play the whole thing here. Yes, we are. Let's get it. And it's a title given to Christ, Philippians 2.11. And my name translates in the Hebrew language as Yahweh. So I went on the Amazon Prime. I was like, you know what? Let me see if there are any documentaries on Yahweh. So went in the search bar, typed in Yahweh. That came up. Went out and shared it on my platform. That was my night. In terms of the backlash or what people call it, uh, we're in 2022. History is not supposed to be hidden from anybody. And I'm not a divisive person when it comes to religion. I, I embrace all walks of life. You see it on all my platforms. I talk to all races, all cultures, all religions. And my response would be expect understanding from a media conglomerate group that sincerely talks about the game of basketball. And then we bring up religion as if it's correlative at times when it's convenient for people to bring it up. So please just be direct with your question right. so we can move on from this. And I could talk about the game and go home to my son, Elohim, and my wife, Marlene, okay? I might have taken that this was, the, what you shared, was not something that you've even watched. This was, you did, okay, you did watch it or either watch it or read it. I had a lot of time to read a lot. Read a whole bunch. Good and bad about the truth of our world. So then do you, I guess, understand or not understand those that might imply that that work had anti-Semitic leanings in it? Right. And I only ask this because the tweet is still up there. So I We're in 2022. That. It's on Amazon, a public platform. Whether you want to go watch it or not is up to you. There's things being posted every day. I'm no different than the next human being, so don't treat me any different. You guys come in here and make up this powerful influence I have over top of... <laughs> The adultery of oh, you, you cannot post that. Why not? Why not? I don't hear an uproar of that. I'm not here to be divisive on what's going on on this or that. I'm not comparing Jews to blacks. I'm not comparing white to black. I'm not doing that. That conversation is dismissive. And it constantly revolves around the rhetoric of who are the chosen people of God. And I'm not here to argue over a person or a culture or religion on what they believe. No, nah, this is what is here. It's on a public platform. Did I do anything illegal? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did I do anything illegal? Did I hurt anybody? Did I harm anybody? Am I going out and saying that I hate one specific group of people? So out of all the judgment that people got from me posting, I, I just without talking to me. And then I respect what Joe said, 
but there has a lot to do with the not ego or pride of how proud I am to be an African heritage, but also to be living as a free black man here in America, knowing the historical complexities for me to get here. So I'm not going to stand down on anything that I believe in. I'm only going to get stronger because I'm not alone. I have a whole army around me. Okay, Reed, while we're on the topic of promotion, why did you decide to promote something that Alex Jones said? That was a few weeks ago. I do not stand with Alex Jones' position, narrative, court case that he had with Sandy Hook, or any of the kids that felt like. All right, we're going to cut it off here. All right. And I wanted to play this for you all, uh, for you to get the gist of it, right? And the first question I ask, if you have an issue with what Kyrie tweeted uh, and what he promoted, did you watch it? Did you watch any of it? Did you take one second to understand what it is that he watched or did you uh, or did you just read reviews and then decide to come after him? Because if you didn't watch any part of what he posted, and you should shut the fuck up. Because, see, we look at reviews on many things. You can go to a Yelp review. You can go to a Rotten Tomatoes review. And then you can consume, you can watch that movie or you can consume, uh, you get that service, that good. And then you'd be go, what the hell was they talking about? They, man, man, hell no. I had good service over there. That movie was great. You told me it was terrible. Oh, that movie you said was great. It was fucking terrible. Oh, but now this movie has some anti-Semitic vibes. Uh, it has some anti-Semitic vibes. It, it has some anti-Semitic rhetoric. And you, uh, Kyrie, why would you post this? Well, what if that's what he believes? I mean, I don't see Ennis Cantor getting questions about what's going on in Palestine with the Israels. With Israelites and the Jews. Ain't nobody asking Ennis Cantor that question because I promise you, if you get him to answer, I don't know, I can't promise you nothing. But um, it'd be interesting to hear what he, ha what he has to say about it. And Kyrie, as who he is, and this is, and I don't even believe what Kyrie believes, okay? And I'm not saying that's a cop a plea like Charles Barkley and Shaq did today on TNT because that was some bullshit. I'm just saying as somebody who I consumed some of uh, some of that documentary. I, prom I I'm sorry I didn't finish it. I will finish it before this week is over. But that shit was three hours, and from what I got, I didn't believe it all. But I can't promise you I wouldn't have believed it all if that was not what was introduced to me first. Because there were a lot of, there were various pieces of that, of the documentary, right? That you go, oh, that's true. That's true. That's believable. This could make sense. And again, not saying that it, does make sense not saying that it is right it's just like hey there are multiple perspectives on what we believe in and if we're going to start policing religion we're no longer america america was built on freedom of speech freedom of religion i i believe let me go back into history that we established this country because we wanted to choose our religion and not have the powers that be pick our religion. But if you're telling that Ky if you're telling Kyrie Irving that he's wrong because of his religious choice, because it's not your religious choice, and you say, "Oh, what you are subscribing to is anti-Semitic," and then also anti. Southern Baptist? <laughs> Isn't it anti Muslim? Is it anti Buddhist? Like, hey, some things are fucking divisive. And guess what? 
If you stand on your religious values, that is going to be divisive because you will disagree with someone from another walk of life and someone with another religion, no matter what it is. And guess what? That's okay. Because that's what religion does. It provides us with like a set of views, a value set to live by, but it also divides us from those who don't subscribe to those views and that value set. So if somebody says, hey, I'm an atheist. Well, that's anti-Semitic. That's anti-Christian. That's anti-Muslim. Cancel it. Well, hold on, because I don't. Ain't nobody coming after Bill Maher who shits on 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 organized religion every week. He did religious. Some that they tried to debunk religion. Is that anti-Semitic? Is that anti-Christian? Is that anti-Muslim? Is that anti-Buddhist? Ain't that anti-Sikhist? Name the religion. It's anti that. So don't come kill Kyrie because he chose a belief that does not align with yours, that does not align with the mainstream. Let him believe what he believes. That's his religion. And let's be real. None of us can prove that our religion is right. So who the hell are we to come in and attack somebody because they have their own religious beliefs? And since when did, if you, since when did something you watch and you say, hey, you all should watch this or you put it out there in your platform mean that you support everything that's said in that piece of work? Because I bet, for one, most Christians have not read the entire Bible, for, for starters. But I bet you there are parts of the Bible that those Christians don't believe in, don't support, but they still accept the religion, right? Just like there's some Democrats out here who don't support everything the party's doing, but they are still part of the party. And there are some Republicans out here who don't accept what the party is doing, but they accept the party. So where's nuance? Uh, did it become like 2022 or, or did COVID hit back in 2019, 2020? We just say, hey, fuck nuance. Let's throw that shit away. It doesn't matter anymore. Like at some point we got to believe in nuance because guess what? I can believe in this whole, like in this holistically, but I don't believe in every single thing that it says. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it makes more sense to me. Like 75% of this shit makes the most sense and the other 25, boy, you can throw that, hell, you can throw that shit away. I, I, I just mean like, just because I don't accept your belief does not mean I'm against you. It's just like, hey, bro, I don't believe what you believe. I ain't trying to, like, actively stop you from being great. People showing up to, 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 to Nets games with, 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 with their shirts on saying stop anti-Semitism. Bro, what Kyrie ain't doing is anti-Semitism. Guess what? He's being pro-black. And I'm not saying that all black people believe what Kyrie believes because all of us don't. But he is, in his mind, being pro-black. Just like some of you uh, people are being pro-Semite, some of you are being uh, pro-Gentile, some of you are being pro-Jew, some of you are being pro-Muslim, some of you are being pro-Buddhist, some of you are being pro-whatever you name that your belief is, that you standing on, that's what he's doing. Just because I stand on what I believe on does not mean I'm trying to step on what you believe on. I'm just telling you, hey, that ain't for me. Yeah, 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 I mean, that ain't for me. I ain't saying that that squid is nasty. I'm saying I don't want to eat it. I ain't saying the MD-22 is nasty and it's sugary bullshit. I'm just saying that I'm not going to drink it. I ain't saying that she ugly. I'm just saying I ain't going to fuck her. It's the same thing. Don't pick and choose when people don't want to rock with you. But I know. I know why. I ain't going to say why. I'm going to bite my tongue. Because 